Okay, so if you've ever experienced a WordPress hack, then it turns out it's often because a hacker stole your login information that's been stored in a cookie. But don't worry, I've got a little trick to help prevent this. According to WeWatchYourWebsite.com, around 60% of WordPress hacked sites in 2023 were due to stolen cookie sessions, not a plugin or theme vulnerability. So here's the deal. When you log into your WordPress website, a cookie is created on your computer and it keeps you logged in across pages. If a hacker gets hold of this cookie, they can access your site without the need for a password or indeed having to log in. Now eventually that cookie will expire after two days, but if you click the remember me when you log in, that cookie will last up to two weeks. So how do they steal it? Well, there are a multitude of different ways they can do this, but something like cross-site scripting or phishing are just a couple of possibilities. So how can we mitigate against this? Well, the simple fix is, is simply to log out of your site every time you're done using your website. This invalidates the session cookie, so even if it's stolen, it's useless. So sure, it's a bit inconvenient logging out of your site every time you're done, and just trying to remember to log out probably isn't realistic. But there is a way to automate this. High security systems do this all the time. After a certain amount of inactivity, they simply expire that cookie or they log you out. So you really have to weigh up the pros and cons. Can you cope with having to log in again after a certain amount of inactivity? Or can you cope with a hacked website purely for the sake of being logged in and run the risk of having that session cookie stolen? It's entirely up to you. I know what I would do. Anyway, I've created this function to automatically expire your cookie after a defined amount of inactivity. So let me show you how it works. So in the first instance, I'm gonna create a filter which is hooked to the auth cookie expiration, followed by my callback function with a priority of 10 and it's gonna take three parameters expire user id and remember i'm going to set the remember to false this ensures it doesn't last for up to two weeks and i'm returning a value of 300 well 300 seconds is five minutes next i'm adding an action to the init hook followed by my function then in this function we make sure not to reset during the wordpress heartbeat which is used for things like auto saving drafts displaying real-time notifications and managing other things like sessions I'm also confirming if the user is trying to log themselves out via the super global get request with the action key set to log out. And again, I'm checking if the logged out key is set to true. If any of these conditions are met, we simply return without setting any authentication cookie. And it will simply expire after the duration set in the auth cookie expiration filter hook. Now you might be wondering if there is an impact on performance because of using the init hook as it triggers every time the user interacts with the website. But because we're returning early in the conditional logic, this prevents any processing, so the impact on performance should be minimal. It's also necessary to go through these checks to prevent the user getting stuck in a loop of continuously resetting their authentication cookie. Then I'm checking if the user is logged in, and then I'm using the WP set auth cookie against the user ID, and we reset the cookie expiration by extending it for a further five minutes, ensuring that they stay logged in only while active. And the false parameter ensures that we're not saving it as an active cookie for the next two weeks or 14 days again, which is exactly the same as checking the remember me function on the login page. So this means if you stop using your site for more than five minutes, you'll just get logged out and you'll have to log back in again. But it greatly reduces the risk of having a dormant cookie on your computer stolen by a hacker, thus preventing the risk of getting hacked. And that's it. And that's my Friday function. Feel free to use this in your projects. I'll leave a link to my GitHub repo in the description below. And thanks for watching this week's Friday function. So if you found this video useful, please do give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, or indeed if you have any improvements on this function, please do leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.